Hello and welcome to another exciting video of our K-pop series. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the most famous solo artists in the industry. While K-pop is primarily known for its amazing group performances, there are several solo artists who have also made a name for themselves. From the soulful ballads of IU to the electrifying performances of Taemin, we're going to cover it all. So whether you're a fan of K-pop or just curious about the genre, be sure to stay tuned. And let's dive into the world of solo artists in K-pop. First up, we have IU. IU, whose real name is Lee jin Yoon, is a South Korean singer-songwriter and actress. She debuted in 2008 and has since become one of the most amazing and successful solo artists in Korea. Her music is known for its emotions and lyrical complexity, and she has won numerous awards for her work. Some of her most popular songs include Good Day, Palette, and 23. IU has also been praised for her acting skills and has appeared in several Korean dramas and films. Next, we have Taemin. Shinny, a well-known K-pop group that made its debut in 2008, and Super M, a group that made its debut in 2019, are both comprised of Lee Taemin, also known simply as Taemin. The musician and dancer does not only perform with two ensembles, but he also has a very popular and lucrative solo career. Taemin's debut EP, Ace, was published in 2014, and it was an immediate success. This wasn't unexpected, given Shinny's fame at the time. It was Taemin's first time reaching the top of the charts as it reached number one in numerous South Korean charts. The performer's debut studio album, Press It, was published in 2016 and debuted at the top of the charts right away. Since releasing Move in 2017, Taemin in 2018, and Never Gonna Dance Again in 2020, Taemin has released three additional studio albums. The latter became one of the most well-liked solo performers in South Korea throughout history after being generally hailed by viewers as one of the best K-pop releases of that year. Moving on, we have Chunga. Chunga, whose real name is Kim Chan-mi, is a South Korean singer, dancer, and songwriter. Chung Ha originally debuted as a member of the girl group IOI, but has since gone on to have a successful solo career. She's known for her powerful vocals and impressive dance skills, and has been praised for her ability to take on a variety of musical genres, from EDM to ballads. She first gained the attention of the public as a contestant on the reality show Produce 101, and later debuted as a solo artist in 2017 with the single Why Don't You Know? Chung Ha's music is known for its catchy beats and energetic dance performances, and she has won several awards for her work. Some of her most popular songs include Gotta Go, Snapping, and Roller Coaster. Next, we have Sun Mi. Sun Mi is a South Korean singer and songwriter who first gained fame as a member of the girl group Wonder Girls. She made her solo debut in 2013 with the single 24 Hours and has since become known for her unique style and powerful stage presence. Sun Mi's music is known for its dark, edgy vibe and introspective lyrics, and she has won several awards for her work as a solo artist. Some of her most popular songs include Gashina, Heroin, and Noir. In addition to her work as a solo artist, Sun Mi has also collaborated with other K-pop artists and producers. In 2018, she teamed up with JYP Entertainment founder Park Jin Young for the hit single, Siren, which topped several charts in South Korea and earned critical acclaim for its catchy melody and powerful vocals. Sun Mi has also been vocal about her experiences in the K-pop industry, particularly when it comes to the pressures and expectations placed on female artists. She has spoken out about the need for greater representation and diversity in K-pop and has been recognized for her advocacy work by organizations like the Korean Women's Association United. Moving on, we have Baekhyun. Baekhyun, whose full name is Byun Baekhyun, is a South Korean singer and actor. He debuted after being a member of the boy group EXO in 2012 and later made his solo debut in 2019 with the album City Lights. Baekhyun's music is known for its smooth vocals and romantic lyrics, and he has won several awards for his work as a solo artist. Some of his most popular songs include UN Village, Candy, and Bambi. Baekhyun's success as a solo artist is a testament to his immense talent and hard work. He has proven that he has what it takes to captivate audiences with his soulful voice and emotional performances. 
His popularity has only grown since his debut, and he has become one of the most in-demand solo artists in the K-pop industry. Whether you're a fan of Baekhyun's music or just discovering him for the first time, there's no denying that he's a force to be reckoned with. With his impressive vocal range, smooth dance moves, and charismatic personality, he's sure to continue making waves in the industry for years to come. Next, we have Hwasa. Hwasa, whose real name is An Hye Jin, is a South Korean singer and rapper who rose to prominence as a member of the girl group Mamamoo. She made her solo debut in 2019 with the single Twit and has since become known for her powerful vocals and confident stage presence. Hwasa's music is known for its sultry, R&B-inspired sound, and she has won several awards for her work as a solo artist. Some of her most popular songs include Maria, Don't, and LMM. Now, let's talk about Hwasa from the girl group Mamamoo. She made her solo debut in 2019 with the song Twit, which quickly became a chart-topping hit. One thing that sets Hwasa apart from other K-pop solo artists is her unapologetic attitude and bold fashion choices. She's known for wearing daring outfits and showing off her curves on stage, which has earned her a large following of fans who appreciate her confidence and individuality. In addition to her music career, Hwasa has also appeared on several variety shows and has been praised for her humor and down-to-earth personality. She's proven to be a multifaceted artist with a lot of talent and potential for future success in both music and entertainment. J-Hope, the lead dancer and sub-rapper for BTS, is one of many K-pop idols to have gone solo while performing with BTS. J-Hope, a member of BTS, released his first EP in 2018 titled Hope World, which reached its highest point on the Billboard's 200 at number 38 making him the highest charting Korean soloist at the moment. J-Hope launched The Strategies in 2022 by releasing his debut studio album, Jack in the Box, which has done during the BTS hiatus when each member was recording solo songs. In contrast to the upbeat tracks from his previous EP, J-Hope's studio debut explored different sounds than those previously explored by the artist and even BTS. This was done by exploring a much more grunge and R&B genre. J-Hope's Jack in the Box received platinum certification from the Korea Music Content Association due to his already enormous success with BTS, establishing the rapper's status as a solo artist. Dean Kwon Hyuk, also known by his stage name, Dean, is an emerging alternative R&B phenomenon who has established himself in the K-pop sector. In contrast to most Korean musicians, Dean's career actually got underway in the U.S. in 2015 when he collaborated on his debut project with Grammy Award winner Eric Bellinger. He would also make his Korean debut later in the same year as a result of his collaboration with rapper Zico and the release of his second single, Pour Up. 2016 saw the publication of the singer, rapper and producer's debut EP, 130 Mood, TRBL. But it wasn't until 2017 when Dean's single album, Limbo, which had just two songs, brought him real notoriety. And there you have it, folks, some of the most famous solo artists in K-pop. From Taeyeon's powerful vocals to Hwasa's sultry R&B style, these artists have made a name for themselves and continue to captivate audiences around the world. It's no secret that the world of K-pop is constantly evolving, and we can't wait to see what these artists have in store for us in the future. Will we see more solo projects, collaborations with other artists? Only time will reveal. But one thing is for sure we'll be eagerly awaiting their next moves. We hope you enjoyed knowing about these talented artists and maybe even discovered some new music to add to your playlist. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment letting us know who your favorite solo artist is, and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more K-pop content. Thanks for watching.